Happy Halloween guys! In today's video, I will be showing you how I got this red glitter liner look and we're going to be doing it as a voiceover. So I'm starting off this video with my base already completed. If you guys would like to know or like me to record a video on my base face and how I do that, please just like this video or comment and I can do that for you. Sorry for all the rambling you guys are going to see me do in this video. It was meant to be a talk through video, but my roommate was playing music and you can hear it to the walls, so you know, copyright. But this look um, was basically for my Aunt Cherie, who I passed a few days before and her favorite color was red. I got inspo from Elijah Nishon on Instagram and Twitter. His look was fire and you know, I just had to try it. So I did my own little version. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this look and we're just gonna get right into the video okay so I'm gonna start this video off by um, doing the red transition color so I'm using my autumn crush palette which is from Lux Glam cosmetics the brand is currently um, dissolved like it doesn't exist anymore but I'm using the color candy apple so if you use any like pure red that should work I'm just gonna use like a brush and put the red all into my crease Throughout this video, I will have one clip of everything I'm doing that is um, in real time speed so you guys can see the placement of where I'm putting everything and like the position or like how I'm blending it. And then the next part will definitely be sped up. So here you can see I'm just placing that red, like patting the red right into my crease area. Um, and then I'm going to go out and like blend it, blend it out, like blow, blend it out. I never made that I never made love. 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 for all of these makeup looks any makeup look that you want to do is to have like a reference photo so that you can actively look at the picture and see what you want so um the next thing i did is basically did my nose contour because as you can see my face is only half done it's not like completely finished yet but i'm just adding in my nose contour with this Vesca beauty um bronzer and then you guys are going to see me go back and forth with deepening the colors. So right now I'm actually using um, this mahogany color from the Autumn Crush palette mixed with that candy red to deepen it. Next, I'm going to 
to deepen the black, I'm going to just use the same um, matte black shadow from my MAC palette and my finger to deepen it. I'm only going to put the black on the first half of my eye, so from the inner corner to about the middle of my eye, um, because I want that to be very deep so you can actually see that it's black. And then I'm just leave the rest of it, well I'm going to blend it out, but just leave the rest how it is. Like I said earlier, this is a fairly easy um, eyeshadow look. Most of it is going back and forth and just building up the color until you get the actual look that you desire. So I looked back at my picture and I saw that I wanted it to be a lot more red like how Elijah's is. So I just took that candy um, apple color again and I just put that on my brush and re-emphasized um, my crease color while blending that into my outer corner. see the first eye so here I am adding the eyeliner I'm just gonna place this eyeliner here so I can actually see where my glitter liner is gonna go so just doing my standard eyeliner with some black in it it's my standard black wing liner that's what I need to say um, and then I add like these inner corner flicks to emphasize the shape of my eyes as well In the next clip, I'm going to be adding the Kiss Lash Glue in the color black. Um, I'm, with the brush applicator, I'm going to be applying that exactly where I have these, this eyeliner. Um, and then I'm going to attach the glitter to it. My camera cut off so you don't actually see me adding the, the glitter to the eyeliner. But you just take a brush, stick it in the glitter, and stick it on your eye. And in this clip, you can see me, I'm removing the extra eyelash glue or glitter that fell into my eyelashes. I'm just removing that with some micellar water and a cotton pad. Um, and then I'll be back to show you guys the final touches of my makeup. The final look, I just want to push my hair back. This ponytail really cute. So I decided to do, um, I smudged out the eyeliner, the eyeliner, I didn't use my eye. You guys saw the glitter liner. Oh, actually no, it cut off before the glitter liner, but I added the glitter to the eyeliner. I have my lashes, which I think were perfect. The lashes are, ignore the lashes that are in this pack, I just need to some my lashes, but, um, for 5D22 millimeter speed high end lashes. I got these from Bobo's Beauty Supply Store out here in California. It's kind of like Sally's, but it's not Sally's. Um, they actually have some stuff in there. So, I got it from Bobo's. These lashes from Bobo's. Um, I read the bronzer. I added the Lush with <laughs> Mac by Raisin. I mean, I said Mac by Raisin. Raisin by Mac. Fire. I think it helped tie the look. And then the thing I thought would tie this whole look together would be this ombre lip. I saw someone do like a purple ombre lip on Twitter. It was so fire. And I was thinking about putting like making the the lip, the ombre lip glitter. But I like how it's right now that I used eyeliner. Yeah, get it right. Here's eyeliner in this red lip pencil. It's called Jordano. I just my mom, stole it, probably just very good. Uh, and then I padded an uh, eyeshadow over it. So I padded uh, the black eyeshadow from my eyes on top. And then I padded the black, I mean the red candy apple eyeshadow from Lux 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 Glam Cosmetics on the bottom. 
to get the, the ombre look and I, I really like it and it's really cute. The number nine, I N E. Nine is who I envision myself to be. I've always found comfort in numbers and I never understood why until I searched life path numbers and discovered mine was nine. Each life path holds a theme. One, leadership and independence. Two, cooperation and intuition. Three, communication and creativity. Four, breaking through limitations. Five, freedom and adaptation. Six, balance and living responsibly. Seven, wisdom and inner development. Eight, manifestation and satisfaction. Nine, nine is the number of completion. When you look deep inside, there are all of the other numbers combined. If you picture me as a cat, this will be my ninth and final lifetime. Nine uses they them pronouns. They cannot be confined. And for that reason, I think nine is truly sublime. So when you ask me to tell you about myself, all you need to know is, hi, I'm nine.